ones. Thank you very much. Um, I don't, you can look into my eyes. Um, so could you, could you briefly explain what you're doing at the learning lab? Um, so in the learning lab, what we do is support Harvard faculty who want to try something new in their course. Um, they might have been teaching a history course, assigning their students a 10-page paper as a final project up till now, and maybe they want students to do a podcast, or uh, maybe they want them to design an infographic. What we do is we work with a professor to design the assignment, we prototype it and test it out on student usability testers, and then we run workshops and hackathons that help the students in the actual course develop the skills required to do the assignment, and then actually give them the time and sometimes technical support to complete the assignment. Maybe just because you are mentioning um, hackathons, and we are starting to do hackathons more frequently in Germany right now, and mm -hmm. we are a partner of a startup that does it at universities. Um, what is your experience with the hackathons? Well, so we've found hackathons, which are something that exists typically within the coding world, to be very inspirational because there's a lot of excitement surrounding it. People are working very hard um, at a very difficult set of problems, but they're doing so enthusiastically and they're really engaged. And so we've been inspired to kind of try to port that model into other domains where students aren't necessarily just coding something. They could be working on an art making project or on a graphic design project. Um, we still call them hackathons. I don't exactly know why. Um, but the basic idea is we want to make sure that students are supported and they feel as though they're part of a community as they complete the work that they have to complete. Sometimes when they're trying something new, it can be isolating, um, even alienating. <laughs> um, if they hit technical hurdles that are very difficult to overcome and they don't have any support system, uh, it can actually be off-putting for them. And so what we want to do is provide them with a, a community that can support them as they're performing the assignment, uh, that can give them feedback, that can help them with troubleshooting, that can give them technical and aesthetic tips. And that's what we can get at those hackathons. Uh, it also just kind of nudges the students and make sure they get started on the project before two o'clock in the morning the night before it's due. Uh, they actually have to come physically to the room and while they're there they may as well work, work on the project. So we found it to be a really successful model and again not just in the domain of, of coding itself but, a, but in, in a bunch of different um, zones of work that we perform here. Thank you. And last question. Today there was a delegation of um, German stakeholders of education institutions so many questions were on a strategic base but um, what could they experience here and what would you give them um, as, a, as an outcome they should take home? Um, well, I hope that when visitors come here for, from anywhere, whether they're coming from another school down the road or from across the world, um, they, they experience the uh, sort of sense of dynamism, um, a kind of can-do attitude, a sense that we've built a space here that's very flexible and dynamic. Um, and I ho I'm hopeful that in telling the story about how we created that space, people maybe take some ideas back home about how they could create a similar space for themselves. I think one of the things we've always em emphasized when people come here is that our space is a little quirky. Uh, lots of it is just kind of an accident to the folks we had here as we started to build it. Um, we have a lot of filmmakers, we had a writing instructor, so those, um, lots of what we do kind of comes from those, those directions. Uh, I think every institution is, will be a little bit different as they create innovation spaces and they'll be bringing in different staff to start those spaces. So what they come up with might not be identical to what we've done here at all, but I'm still hopeful that there are lessons they can learn from the successes and failures we've had that will help them do a better job than we've done <laughs> at creating an innovation space or a creative kind of um, incubator space. Um, because I, I do think that, that higher ed can really benefit from su such spaces. Um, and and, and so I'm just hopeful we have more and more of them. Thank you very much. Thanks.